What's up guys, it's Chad here with Dream Views coming to you from my driveway today. If you've been following the channel, you know that behind me is my wife's 2018 Honda Odyssey. If you also noticed, it looks pretty shiny, pretty clean. Um, it is President's Day weekend, 23. And yesterday I gave my wife's van a nice little bath and uh, put some tire shine on there for her and cleaned the interior just a little bit. Uh, also, just uh, trying to get another project out of the way, I'm going to be installing a custom fit magnet mount for your phone on my wife's van. Uh, we were looking for a long time, couldn't find anything, and I finally found it. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you exactly what it is and how it works. Uh, throughout the course of this particular review video, if you hear a baby making any noises, crying, etc., this is my littlest one, Emily. She's going to be assisting me today uh, with the install. So, current mounts that we have are these little guys right here. Okay, these are obviously um, just stick on 3M style. All right, so these are the MagSafe uh, pucks. Me and my wife both have the iPhone 13 Pro Maxes. All right, now these are the third different set of magnet mounts that we have put into this van. The problem with the van is that there's not any real flat surface to be mounting a phone mount. Um, I mean, these places right here are okay. They are textured, okay, so that's not the best. And everything doesn't have any, there's no flat surfaces. And even this has texture, you know, texture, the very slick, the piano plastic, obviously textured, okay, there's not really anything that is too, you know, non textured. And the problem with these is that, you know, during either hot days or cold days, they'll actually lift up off the back and you have to kind of push them back down and reset them so it's kind of aggravating. So I've been trying to find something that is custom fit. Now I found something for my truck, custom fit, that I love and my wife has loved them too. So I found something for the van, I'm gonna show you what they are and we're gonna do a quick install. Here's what I found. These are made by ATAC mounts. All right, I have two of the actual mounts, left and right side, and then I have two of the ball adapters. I'm gonna put all the information in the comments or description below with all the part numbers. Obviously you can see it's the 2018 Honda Odyssey through 2020, so current. Uh, even the 2023 Odyssey has the same interior dash, so these will work on those as well. So I'm gonna get going and do an install and show you guys the end result. Put my first one in uh, on the driver's side. All right, it's not a bad unit. It's very, very secure. Uh, is it the best looking thing? No, uh, definitely utilitarian. Um, it's got a black textured look to it. Um, this did not come with the mount. Uh, this right here literally came right off of the Amazon mounts I got, and I'll go over that on the install. But check this out. Again, this is my wife's vehicle, so everything in here is all my wife's. Uh, here we have my iPhone 13 Pro Max MagSafe. So obviously it is right next to the steering wheel in a great position. Very secure. All right, very secure. I still have access to start, stop. Access to all the shifting. The only thing that might be a slightly blocked is going to be the these three right here. So your eco, your snow, and your auto start stop start is slightly blocked visually. You can still reach around and easily get it. Um, and all your AC vents are all going to not be blocked as well. So so far, great mount. Again, I'm going to the next one. I'm going to actually show a demo on how to install it on the passenger side. Uh. 
already have the driver side mounts installed and I'm going to actually do a demo on how to install the passenger side mount. What I love about ATAC, and it's the first time doing business with them, but I love them so far, are the instructions. Okay, it actually shows the mounts, what it looks like installed in the actual vehicle. At the top it says ATAC number 50438, and all the products that I have seen so far actually have their product number stamped on a sticker right on the mounts, which is awesome. You know everything's correct. And it has a little bit of uh, literature on it, and then it actually has real pictures with arrows, almost dummy proof, on how to install the mount and what it looks like after the fact, which is great. All right, on to the install. It's a super simple install. You have two creases that you're going for. You have this crease in the paneling right here, and then you have the crease between the pleather and the piano black plastic. There's a crease right here. You can put your finger in there, you can put like a quarter, or you can put the bracket, okay? There's, it's like an L-shaped bracket. You have a, essentially, teeth right here and teeth right here. Both of these teeth are going to go into these two uh, grooves. Now, obviously, per the instructions, all right, these mounts are going to sit like this. They're not going to sit straight up and down, they're going to sit sideways. I'm not sure if you can tell on here, okay? However, there's a total of six holes. You have three on the top, three on the top. That allows you to install the actual phone mount, either inboard or outboard, whichever position you want. All right, so back to over here. This part is going to be in this groove, and then the long edge is going to be on the bottom, okay? You can either do it, you can either install this first, or you can install this first. However, there is going to be a little bit of pulling you have to do to actually get it to clamp around the dashboard. So what we're going to do is I'm going to grab the underneath first. You just push it in there, okay, and it will grab, all right, so... You, I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's actually already in there. All right, you want to make sure that you have it in there enough. All right, and then you just pull, ooh, see that? It kind of pulled out. So, we're gonna try up at the top first this time, okay? Sorry, my baby's in the back here. All right, so I installed the dash groove first, and then we're gonna go to the underside. So you're just gonna keep pressure on this, and then we're going to pull around this way. All right. Got that installed nicely. See how that is? I mean, that's, that's solid. That's not going anywhere. So uh, that's taken care of, and we're going to go on to install the actual uh, ball mounts, and I'll show you how to finish all that up. Here is the actual physical ball mounts. All right, this is ATAC number 11001. Okay, this is the four hole 17 millimeter ball adapter. Uh, ATAC mounts, they do sell different size millimeter balls, okay? You have to make sure the ball mount you're buying fits the actual uh, mount you wanna hook up to it. So you can't get obviously too big of a ball, it ain't gonna work. So make sure you do your research and get the correct size ball for the mount you're looking for. Okay, so, again, this says four hole. The mount itself has a total of six holes. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up, kinda show you a little bit of a close up on this. All right, again, four holes. It's not that hard to understand, which means you can either put it inbound or you can side it to the next set of four holes and do outbounds. Again, there's a total of six holes in this mount. Like I said, inbound closest to the console or outbound. For the driver's side, I went with inbound closest to the screen. The reason for that is so it didn't block the engine stop start button. On this one, I'm going to do outbound, which is gonna be closest to the passenger 
so they can manipulate their phone uh, as easy as possible. So I'm gonna go with that. Comes with four screws. All right, I got my drill out here. You can use a screwdriver, it doesn't matter. Um, the, the screws are black, so it kind of blends in. All right. So I turn the clutch torque way down. You do not want to split the plastic uh, adapter in any way, shape, or form. So you're just going to want to be careful and line them up and then go ahead and put them in. Got that mount all mounted. I'm gonna take the camera off and do a close up. Here is the finished product. This thing actually is very nice. Uh, I don't know if you can see these little bitty holes. Like I said, there was six total. And this is the whole size of the mount. I put this one outbound. All right, I'm gonna zoom out here. Again, that's the finished product with the actual uh, MagSafe mount on there this is what it looks like from ATAC so this is the only thing that I got from ATAC is the actual physical mount and then the ball adapter all I'm doing save a couple bucks is just using this piece right here so I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm doing now, these are my Amazon mounts all right that part comes off all right so this part comes right off and then this part comes right off Again, uh, these are the 17 millimeter ball adapters. So this ball from Amazon is a 17 millimeter. This only fits 17 millimeter. So I had to buy this to match the mount. All right, so this part is gonna go on first. Okay, got that. And then this just cinches right down onto the ball. Okay, and then from the side, you just line up these threads. Line up the threads here. I don't know if it's focusing or not. Here we go. Yep, snug it down to where it's going to be semi-tight. You don't want it to be loose and floppy. You don't want it to be too tight to where you can't move it. So right there looks about good. So maybe do a little angle out towards the passenger seat here. Let me get my phone out. Perfect, look at that. So I would normally be driving if it's me and my wife, but so I would kind of lean my legs out a little bit. It's not banging it or anything. So this setup is actually really nice. So, you know, two thumbs up. Well, this concludes my review and install video of the ATAC uh, magnetic cell phone holder mount for a 2018 to current Honda Odyssey. Again, this is made in 2023, so in the future, it might not work. All right, overall review. I give ATAC as a company two thumbs up, and here's the reason. They have so many custom cell phone holders, it is unbelievable how many they've actually made. My truck is a 2020 Ram 2500. Companies make so much stuff for trucks compared to like vans and passenger cars, but this company made something for Honda Odyssey, which is amazing. Every single product they have that's a custom fit mount has a picture diagram of the actual car itself. A lot of companies would just say, oh, install and then drill here or whatever, but they actually had pictures of the actual dash on my vehicle. So again, two thumbs up to them. Um, the total bill, I'm gonna go over how much it costs, okay? Um, as far as cell phone holders go, these are a little pricey, but not the most expensive. All right, each of the actual mounts that clip to the dash, these those were $29.99 a piece. Those are normal price. I have seen ATAC run sales from time to time. I unfortunately bought when it was not on sale. So $29.99 a piece on that. There's a left and a right side. They can't be swip swapped, so there's that. The 17 millimeter ball mount that clips to the dash mount were $10 a piece. I mean, those are kind of standard price across the board, even if you order them off of Amazon or something. So the total bill I got was about $80. Um, at a certain price, you get free shipping, so um, you can order more stuff from them. That's not a problem. 
Again, I give ATAC mounts two thumbs up, ease of install, and the fit and finish is great. There's no sharp edges or anything. Um, so I really like this the product. And um, again, two thumbs up. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you like this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I am going to leave the links to everything in the description. So, all right guys, have a great day, bye.